Jesus, this card is old school. So Sangan is pretty much the first card in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh almost that got an effect that searched a monster from the deck to the hand when it was sent from the field to the graveyard alongside Witch of the Black Forest, which is the reason why both of these cards were banned for so long. If you still had to rely on the fact that Sangan would have to be destroyed by battle or by card effect for it to search with its effect, the card would be pretty bad right now. So why is Sangan still good in 2022? Sangan just conveniently happens to be a monster with 1000 attack that can turn into Salamangud El Mirage and it can search a lot of really relevant cards because a lot of really important monsters just happen to have 1500 or less attack. And even though you cannot use any of the effects of the monsters that you just searched, well, it really doesn't matter that much because a lot of monsters actually have inherent special summon mechanics. And on top of that, you can also search hand shops, which will be useful for next turn. As a matter of fact, a lot of people play Crusadia Arborea, which is a tuner monster that has the inherent ability to summon itself to a zone a Link monster points to, and Salamon Good El Mirage has a zone diagonally down. So that means that you can go Sangan, search your Crusadia Arborea, summon it, and then make Needle Fiber, and then keep playing from there. So that means that a single Sangan is a one card Needle Fiber guaranteed through Valor and Imperm, and even if you get hit by Valor or Imperm, it really doesn't affect you that much because you still have Needle Fiber body on the field, which will either allow you to go into a link 3 potentially or maybe you're just going to be turning it into a synchro monster on your opponent's turn maybe something like desert locust eg wonder magician formula synchron it really depends on if you have a leftover monster on the field and yeah like i said if you already happen to draw crusader arborea you can just search any other hand shop in the game outside of maybe skull meister and imperm for obvious reasons in the ocg that's kind of disgusting because it means that you can search maxi right away and even if you get hit by your opponent's maxi it doesn't matter that much because you have your own maxi and on your opponent's turn, you will be fine. Sangan is ridiculously powerful in Brave Token strategies because it doesn't have to use its effect on the field, and as a matter of fact, it doesn't even have one, so there is no conflicting whatsoever with Rite of Aramisia, meaning that you can not only go for the Brave Token route, but also go for the Sangan into Needle Fiber into Aura Dawn route, no problem whatsoever. And also, Sangan is a level 3 Dark Fiend, so it can be used as a Allure of Darkness target, or it can be summoned with Tour Guide from the Underworld, and then make a Cherubini to search a monster and then go for your Phantom Knight combo that way. And Sangan was also very good in Altergeist on top of Altergeist Multi- sorry, Altergeist Milusik in order to search the Multi Faker. Because of how many options Sangan offers you, it is by far one of the best normal summons in a format where Brave Token exists. And also if you really want to have at least Neil Fiber by the time you get hit by Valor or Imperm so that you can keep doing other things on your opponent's turn if you get hit by Hand Shops. And thanks to these interactions, Sangan and Rite of Aramisia end up being a two-card combo that can play through two interruptions and make two interruptions yourself because you can chain block your Sangan being in Chainlink 1 and Journey of Destiny to surge the equip spell being in Chainlink 2. Your opponent will most likely ogre that and then you will have your Needle Fiber summon thanks to Crusadia Arborea, which will probably get ashed by your opponent. And then you can turn your Needle Fiber into Desert Locust on your opponent's turn, make your opponent lose one card from their hand, and then Quick Sync into Baroness so you may Made your opponent lose one card and you have a non negate and you are able to do all that through two hand shops. So yeah, in conclusion, Sangan is absolutely no joke and really might solve a lot of your resilience issues if you don't really get to search hand shops easily or you really want to be able to do more through hand shops like Valor and Imperm as I said or you can afford to chain block through cards like Ash if you have a chain link two or higher card such as Fateful Adventure. So that's really all I had to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the matter in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.